Welcome back to Food Prints. I'm so very glad you're here with me because the big idea we're exploring today is scientific observations help us understand the world. So the first thing you might be wondering is, what is an observation? And that's a good question. An observation is the action or process of looking closely at something or someone. Observations are important because they help us make discoveries about the world around us. And one of the most fun things to do when making observations is to make observational drawings. And that's when we look at something or someone very closely and then we draw what we see. And there are two different types of observational drawings we're going to discuss today. That's why today's lesson is called Artistic and Scientific Observations. As you can probably guess, with an artistic observational drawing, you can be creative and playful and use your imagination. The other type is what we call a scientific observational drawing. And with this type of drawing, you want to be precise, accurate, and as realistic as possible. Okay, before we can make observational drawings, we have to first choose what we call a subject. The subject is the person or the thing that we're going to draw. For my subject, I chose this beautiful flower. It's called Echinacea, and I got this one right out of my garden. Isn't it lovely? Now, I want to show you the first observational drawing I made of this flower. Do you remember the two types of drawings, artistic and scientific? Well, I started with an artistic drawing. That means I used my imagination and I made a playful, creative version of this flower. Let's take a look. I started by making the stem and then I added some leaves. And after that, I drew the petals. Then, because I'm using my imagination for this artistic drawing, I decided to have a little fun. And I drew some sunglasses. And I gave my flower a cool haircut. And then I decided that my flower wanted to play with a beach ball. So I drew that too. Then I added some color to its face and I made the hair orange and I added pretty colors to the petals. Then I colored in the stem and the leaves. And finally, the beach ball. And there you have it. This is an artistic observational drawing of my flower. It's colorful and beautiful, and I had a lot of fun making it. And I bet if someone looked at this drawing, they probably would smile. But would they really know what this flower looks like? Probably not. To really show someone what my flower looks like and allow them to learn something about the flower, I need to do a scientific observational drawing. So let's go back to our flower. When scientists look at or observe a subject, they pay very close attention to the details and write down what they see. This information is called the data. So let's do the same with our flower. We see a thick, round stem, several green leaves, long, narrow pink petals with lines in them, and lots of pistils, which are these spiky things that are orange on top and green at the bottom. So all of that information is our data. And that data is what we use to help us make our scientific drawing. So here's how I made mine. I started out by drawing the pistils. When I was closely observing my flower, I noticed that there are a lot of these pistils on the top. So I made sure I drew a lot of them. Next, I drew the petals. And I did my best to make them just the right size and shape. I also tried to add these little lines in the petals just like the ones I saw with my eyes during my observation. Next, I drew the stem and the leaves. And after that, I added some color to the petals and I tried to make it just the right shade of pink. Then I colored in the pistils, green on the bottom and orange on the top, just like I observed with my eyes. Finally, I added the color green to the stem and to the leaves. Once I was done with all of that, I had a few more things to add because this is a scientific drawing and I want people to learn from it. 
I added a few labels to my drawing so people could identify the different parts of the flower. The stem, the leaves, the petals, and finally the pistils. And then I added a title to my drawing. I called my drawing Echinacea Flower in Bloom. Okay, now that we've finished our two drawings, let's make sure we know which one is which. So tell me, is this the artistic or the scientific drawing? That's the artistic drawing because you used your imagination and, and added things you didn't see with your eyes. Exactly. In the artistic drawing, I used my imagination. When we're being artists, we can be creative about the colors, shapes, and backgrounds that we add to our drawings. But in my scientific drawing, I did my best to represent the flower as I actually saw it. I paid very close attention to the size, shapes, lines, and colors that I observed with my eyes. And then I added extra information to help explain what I saw. Okay, just for fun, let's take a look at a couple more drawings I made today. The first subject I observed was a peach. I really took my time and looked at it from all sides. And once I was done observing, I drew these two pictures. Can you tell me which one is the scientific drawing? Number one on my right, or number two on my left? Number one is the scientific drawing because it looks just like the real peach. Very good. Number one is the scientific observational drawing. It is a detailed representation of the peach. Okay, one more example. Here are two drawings I made of a bee that was hard at work in my garden, pollinating all of the flowers. Can you tell which of these two drawings is artistic? Number one on the right, or number two on the left? Number two is an artistic drawing because that bee is on a surfboard. You are absolutely right. Number two is the artistic drawing. That means this other drawing, the one that looks like a real bee and has lots of details, is the scientific observational drawing. Well done, everyone. I hope you now feel confident to go out and make observations about all kinds of neat things around you. And then you can make your own artistic and scientific observational drawings. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have fun drawing, and I'll see you next time.